Hello and welcome on Pflichtsender. Today I will explain associative property. Associative property is the law of brackets. It comes from the Latin word associare, English connect, and it means that you can change brackets, where brackets are, so you can change the order of mathematical operations by doing that, or it says that you cannot, that you're not allowed to change the mathematical operations orders. You know maybe already that in multiplications the associative property says yes, you're allowed to do that, so you can have here the brackets around B and C, or around A and B, and the result of both these parts of the formula will be equal. But for divisions, you will not have the same result when you change where the brackets are, so which part of the equation you solve first. If you divide first b by c and then a by the result of this, you will get another result than when you divide a by b and then the result of this by c. This is also true for addition, so you can change the order of what you add first to each other, so b plus c here added first to each other and then a or a plus b and then c is the same. However, when you subtract numbers from each other, then the order matters again. Instead of giving the mathematical explanation of why this is true, I will just give you some examples to show that this is actually true for multiplications, but not for divisions, that you're allowed to change where the brackets are. So here we just assume that a is 2, b is 3, c is 4, and then we put in these numbers where the variables or where the letters are. So here a is 2, so 2 times 3 times 4, that would then be 12, so 2 times 12 is 24, or 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 4 is also 24, so here the result stays the same, while here with the division, 2 divided by 3 quarters is 2.67, or 2 2 thirds, while 2 thirds divided by 4 is not the same value, but actually a lot lower. So here you see an example where indeed multiplications allow to change the brackets and where they are, but division does not. Then the same is true for decimal numbers, so I here just give you another example that you can go through yourself and you see here again when you use decimal numbers for a, b and c, you will also have the same result when you change the brackets for multiplications but not for divisions. The associate property is also interesting for additions and subtractions, so here again you see examples that it actually works when you add numbers together. Here 2 plus 3 plus 5 is 2 plus 8 is 10, or 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 plus 5 is again 10. So here's the same result. Well, when you subtract numbers from each other, so 2 minus 3 minus 5 is 3 minus 5 is minus 2. Then you have 2 minus minus 2, so 2 plus 2 is 4, or 2 minus 3 is minus 1, minus 5 is minus 6. So again here, it's the same number that you have as a result, while on the other side for the subtractions you have 4 equals minus 6, which is of course not true, so you don't have the same result. So again, the associative property says for additions it's allowed to change where the brackets are, the associations of which mathematical operation is going first, but for subtractions it's not allowed to just say, okay, I first subtract this number from this, and it's the same like subtracting this number from this in the end when you do everything. For decimal numbers it's the same. You can also see here again that it's allowed to change the brackets, change the order of mathematical operations that you execute, while when you subtract numbers from each other then it's actually not allowed anymore to do that, otherwise you get different results and you do not have the equal results on both sides of the equation, so it's not an equation anymore. Thank you very much for listening, until next time on Pflichtsender.